Welcome back to my channel, Kentucky Fried Fun, and welcome if you're new. Today, I'm going to be doing a nighttime kitchen clean with me. If you need some cleaning motivation to get those dishes done tonight, keep watching. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ruth, and on my channel, you will find cleaning motivation, declutter motivation, and decoration inspiration. If you like that type of content, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe. And then once you've hit that red subscribe button, please be sure to also click the little bell that is right next to you, and that will just send you a notification of the next time I upload a video. The first thing that I'm doing is just clearing away the table of the food and all of the dirty dishes. That way I can then wipe off the table. This night we had some mashed potatoes and some chicken fingers and something else, corn. After clearing away the dining room table, I then used my Mrs. Myers all-purpose spray and the lemon verbena scent to wipe down the table. You may notice the pink and white flowers over there. Those are some lovely carnations that my mother-in-law gave to me. She was given them on Mother's Day and she decided to give them to me and I'm absolutely loving them. They are so pretty and it's making me think I am going to want to keep getting some fresh flowers to keep on our table. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put the food away into the fridge. Now that the food is all put away, it is time to get started on the dishes, and to do so, I'm just starting off by putting away all the clean, dry dishes. Also in this video, I will be doing some pantry reorganization. I recently decluttered our cup cabinet with the mugs, and I did want to keep my Christmas mugs, but I wanted to have room up there to nicely store our more like everyday mugs. So I'm going to be finding some place in the pantry to store those mugs along with the little s'mores basket that I made. I'm so excited to show that. If you are liking this video, please be sure to leave it a big thumbs up. That just lets me know that you like to see this type of video on my channel. Now that all the clean dishes are put away, it is time to get started on the dirty dishes. And for today, I am just going to be using some generic dish soap. I've been mentioning this the past few videos. And I do love my Mrs. Myers and Method dish soap, but I am just trying to use this stuff up. And I love this beautiful bottle that I'm using. My friend Elena gave it to me. And I'm so excited because I get to see her this coming weekend. It has been over a year since I visited her. Home. I'm from North Carolina and it's been over a year since I've gone home. I'm so excited. I have seen her since then, but I have not seen my other friend Brooke in over a year and I'm so, so excited to get away and see my family and friends. If you would like to see some pictures of our vacation, definitely be sure to follow me over on Instagram. I will leave my handle here on the screen as well as down in the description box. I didn't show you, but I just took the 
pan outside to scrape off the egg stuff that I had used a recipe for the chicken fingers that included eggs and I almost felt like I made scrambled eggs as well. The chicken fingers turned out amazing, but I scraped that stuff outside and it's so cute because our little dog will run after me and he'll go down and eat the stuff that I scraped out. I'm sure it's probably not the best thing for him, but he's been doing it for, he's almost, he's four and a half and he's been doing it a couple years now and he's just fine, but he's so cute. He's our little trash picker upper. Now that the dishes are all done, it is time to clean out the sink, and here I'm doing probably one of my least favorite chores, and that's just taking all the little bits of food and throwing it into the trash. I've never ever liked this part about dishes, it's just so disgusting to me, but it's much better than having to have my father-in-law come over to help us uh, clear out a clogged sink. Anyways, here I am doing my favorite chore, scrubbing out the sink. Now it is time to work on the pantry and here I'm just giving you a shot of the before. The middle shelves aren't bad, the bottom floor is kind of cluttered and then the top I just want to rework it to where I am able to store things better and I'm not actually going to be showing the declutter process, I will take everything out but to film trying to organize and decide what I want to keep, where I want to keep and also work on camera angles, I just can't seem to do that. But I will show y'all the end product. While I was organizing and decluttering our pantry, we were watching an episode of Hoarders and I just found it ironic how here I am working on probably what to most people is just an organized closet and we're watching like the exact opposite. But I've never considered myself ordinary in my housekeeping. I've always liked to keep it extra organized. I don't know, maybe it comes from working at home and so I'm around it more often. But I just, it just makes me so happy. Once I had taken everything out, I whipped out my Dyson and went ahead and gave the little part there a quick vacuum. I did go ahead and organize it, but I will be showing that clip at the end of this video. So you'll have to continue watching if you want to see how the pantry turned out. And I went ahead and used the vacuum to give the floor a quick vacuum. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion. After taking the trash out, I realized I hadn't yet wiped down our countertops or our island. I normally like to do that before I vacuum, but there wasn't many crumbs to get on the floor to have to vacuum up, so I just went ahead and gave the countertops a quick wipe anyways. Here is a shot of how the pantry turned out. I'm absolutely loving it. I love that I moved my party napkins and plates down to a more accessible level and all the food is just exactly where I wanted. Up here isn't the most picturesque, but I don't use this stuff as often and I made it as accessibly as possible. And y'all, don't you just love that sun coming through? Like, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. And here is a close-up of the pretty flowers my mother-in-law gave me. They are still going strong after two weeks since Mother's Day. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it and that it gave you the cleaning motivation you need and maybe even some pantry organization motivation. I hope that 
you have a great night and I will see y'all later. Bye!